Hey Capricorns, I'm Island Turtle. Welcome to Bobby Spirit. This is a monthly general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. There is a part two over on Patreon. You can also find it on Vimeo. All the links are down below if you feel called to watch those, okay? Um, keep in mind that when I say these are monthly, that they are happening about once every 30 days or so. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. I think that's what I need to know. Also, there's a website for astro astrology services if you're interested in that as well. But Capricorns, let's go ahead and get started with you. I'm feeling strong inner child. <laughs> very, very strong inner child. I feel like your inner child's being really loud. Some of you could just be learning to listen to your inner child more, look out for your inner child more, maybe even get in touch with some long lost dreams or wishes or even just needing more time to play. Um, if that's the case, like, if the latter is the case, the last thing that I just said, I feel like that's probably going hand in hand with some like work-life balance. Um, but yeah, I just keep getting inner child, inner child, inner child, inner child, just really, really strong. Excuse me. Um, so Capricorn, let's go ahead and get started and pull some cards for you. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to go with Dreams of Gaia Oracle. All the decks that I use are linked below for your convenience. But let's just go on for my Cappies. I just heard education. Maybe some of you guys are going to go back to school or starting school, or maybe some of you guys are getting into some learning, if you will. You could be reminiscing on your school days, because I keep getting it. This is all about the inner child for you right now. Okay? Any messages or insights for Capricorn? So I'm going to Venus and Jupiter. Hmm. They do keep showing me the double card, which is your card in tarot, so I don't necessarily think it's a bad thing. Um, but it's interesting to keep showing me that. Maybe we'll get more information as to why that is. Yeah, education. Education. Yeah, some of you guys are getting pulled back to your school days. Um, it's just something that's coming up. Anyway, any messages or insights on Capricorns? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. How you work. Yeah, some of you guys is about work-life balance, um, balancing play with work, how you work, how you literally work. <laughs> uh, the effort you put in, the focus, the intention, the motivations, like why do you work the way that you work? Um, hmm. I feel like your inner child's trying to talk to you about that. Do you work with the intention to be successful? And if so, what does success look like for you? How do you define that? Do you work for the sake of being productive? Do you work because you are task oriented? Like, why do you work the way that you work? What's the intention? What's the motivation? So maybe guys, your inner child, I feel like is trying to get your attention to the fact that maybe the way that you have worked throughout the course of your life maybe needs a little reevaluating. Maybe needs to incorporate a little bit more play, a little bit more relaxation, a little bit more of your inner child. Uh, some of you guys could be reminiscing on when you were younger or your school days and realize, I'm hearing sacrifice, um, realize that you had to sacrifice some sense of your childlike self for that, for responsibility. I just heard responsibility, for the sake of responsibility. But if you're a child, who gave you that responsibility? Adults. <laughs> right? And not to say, like, responsibility is not a thing. We do need to learn responsibility. That's just part of being human and growing up. Um, but what was that cost for you? How serious did you take it? Were there other implications or consequences to your inner child as a result of that? Interesting, Cappy. This is an interesting reading. Any messages or insights from my Capricorns? Summonizing Venus and Jupiter. Do you work till you burn out? Do you work till you have nothing left? Do you work because you're expected to? Again, all of these different things are coming back as to like why you do, why you work the way you do, why you work the way you do. We have four swords. That's an energy of time in this deck. Um, in oh, interesting. Eight of Wands in reverse with wisdom in reverse. So when the Four of Swords comes out, usually it is like, hey, let's, let's take a moment. <laughs> it's saying, let's take a moment, let's take a step back and let's reevaluate some things, let's reflect on some things. But in this deck, it also speaks to time and time management. How are you utilizing your time? Also, in 
relation to your mental space and like how much time are you dedicating to thinking about things and organizing things and planning things but i feel a pause energy here with you capricorns like it's important to take a pause right now on some things because then we have this the eight of wands and a misuse of energy it's just had to say that it's just was coming through as a channeling eight of wands in reverse with the wisdom card in reverse with this card in reverse it's saying that you actually are hmm i can see you are potentially there's a potential here um to be misusing your own knowledge like having the tools to understand like it's almost like knowing better that's the best way to say it knowing that you should be not oh god i'm sorry i'm trying to get away from certain words here knowing it would be in your best interest uh to be doing something differently to be utilizing your energy in a different way or to be working in a different way i just feel wasted energy like a little bit of a burnout with the eight of wands in reverse and i keep getting it like that like you know better you know better you know better you know better yeah cappies i feel like this is about allowing yourself permission to take time where you need to um yeah take time where you need to they're saying motivation again what's motivating you to exert your energy like this what's motivating you to do that is it fear scarcity um is desperation is it indulgence even are you a workaholic no pun intended i know it's always a running joke with capricorns um but really though like what's the motivation to be running your energy in this way where you know you shouldn't you shouldn't be doing it like that especially with the four of swords here it's like hey maybe time to reevaluate maybe time to take a step back but I keep hearing inner child. You're, it's it's the inner child is telling you this. Your inner child's nagging at you about this, whether you listen to that to that part of you or not, or even just trying to get your attention is to say like, hey, the reason that you do it like this is because of something that you were programmed to do, or you were taught to do. Any other messages or insights from my Capricorns? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I'm getting five. The number five, excuse me. Um, you might be seeing fives a lot. I'd be coming up in your reality a lot. None of these numbers are five, but I just keep getting five. Like five, 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 fifty-five. 55, literally just five, 505. Yeah. Six of Cups. My patterns card that's my patterns card six of cups speaks of the past it speaks of childhood it speaks of childhood nostalgia or feelings or memories again our patterns can even relate to like past life stuff or just family oriented energy but this is something that's been rooted in your past that's driving your present behavior but driving your present behavior in a way that's actually not to your benefit and you know better i keep hearing it like that you know better you know better you know better you know better i feel like your inner child is just screaming at you right now capricorns um you could even just equate it to like oh my intuition's been telling me this i just haven't been listening you can even just feel like it's kind of like that but the, but it's it's coming from your past it's coming from the younger you this is something that's been programmed into you from being a child, some sort of narrative you picked up, some sort of thought form you picked up on this is how it's done, or some of you could be um, equating your value to some sort of way you work. I keep saying it's about, I keep hearing it's about work, um, which could be literally career or like how you do things, right? Or how you literally like put effort into something. That's all work. Um, yeah. At this point, it's like this part of you is asking to shift. Your inner child is asking you to shift this for yourself, for the betterment of you and for the betterment of your inner child. It's like the, the younger you is almost like, please shift this. Uh, Seven of Swords in reverse with the Six of Cups. Please shift this. Please shift this. Please shift this. Seven of Swords in this deck, it also speaks of perception. It's perception and belief systems is actually what it speaks of. And the fact that it's in reverse, it's like what is looming in your past that is built on faulty belief systems, self-limiting beliefs even. What does your inner child so desperately want to be shifted? And again, I feel like it's coming down to like something that was forced upon you as a child that demanded more of you than your inner child, than your inner child or child self was ready for. And maybe even 
just inappropriately was asked to, to do or embody or believe or live up to. Ooh, misuse of power. We got the crone in reverse. And what did I say? Who put this on you? Adults. The crone is, um, it's like a older, wiser, feminine energy. Um, you know, you have the maiden, the mother, and the crone, right? The different stages of, of femininity. And here it is in reverse. And when this card is in reverse, that's exactly what it speaks to. Misuse of power. Abusing your power with other people. So Capricorns, I feel like whatever this is about your past, people abuse their power with you. And I keep getting it's about your inner child. Now, it could even be a long pattern, Capricorns, of people abusing their power with you. Um, and forcing you to use your energy in a way that you deep down knew was not okay. Like deep down you knew whatever these people or persons, whether you were a child or it's been a lifelong pattern that's now upsetting your inner child, however which way this goes for you, deep down you knew you knew better. Deep down you knew this wasn't okay. And I mean, for many people, that's often the case when they're a kid, right? Like they, even as a child, 11, 11, I looked at the camera, even as a child, a lot of us recognize when something is not all right, but the adults who are jaded and in their ego and illusion and all that shit, it's like, don't realize it's not all right, right? You could have been parenticized as a kid. I think that's actually a very typical Capricorn experience. I think it's dependent on, on a lot of your chart, but um yeah, that could that could yeah that could manifest in different ways but you know because capricorns you are saturn saturn capricorn the father if you will 10th house energy like a lot of that has to deal with those kind of power dynamics parental roles authority figures um so children who have strong capricorn in their chart like i just i wonder even i'm just like saying this out loud like could poten maybe potentially have a stronger um tendency to be parenticized because you carry that level of maturity also, it's just something that's prevalent in our society. But anyway, any other messages or insights for Capricorns pertaining to this spread? Hold on, they're bringing me back to the crown in reverse. For some of you guys, this could have been um, a feminine energy or even a mother figure, grandmother figure, or feminine authority figure, but it's around feminine energy, which when people are in the crown in reverse energy and they are abusing their power or abusing the power of others, it is to take. It is to take. It is to take and it's to have some sense of control. Overall, we have abundance. Ooh. Ooh, with death and rebirth, yes. With desire and reverse. Oh, and look, the three of swords. In this deck, this speaks of education, but we'll get to that in a minute. Um, I love that this is your overall energy because your inner child's trying to tell you something. Your past, your past use, however you want to look at this, are trying really hard to tell you something about the present moment and how your power has been abused. Okay, right around the themes of abuse of power and how it has really caused you to drain your energy or burn yourself out or misuse your own creative life force, your own ability to co-create even. And deep down, you've always known that this was not okay. But it's probably been so embedded in you that it's just hard to break through that. This is a time to break through that with the death card being up, being up right here in the middle and abundance being there. Taking that it wants energy and balancing it out in a healthy way and also utilizing it for yourself not just for other people right desire in reverse what this is, what your inner child is trying to show you is what have you ignored about your own desires what have you shelved about your own desires or gone about in a, in a way that wasn't healthy sometimes desire in reverse is kind of like the devil card where you're also like kind of i don't want to say enslaved but that's kind of what it is like kind of enslaved or attached to very carnal desires, things that are very gratifying in the moment, but like not necessarily what's healthy for you or doesn't benefit you, right? So you can look at this as the devil card, but I also am getting very strongly like your inner child's like, hey, what have you just ignored or thrown at the window because someone told you to? Even as a kid, someone told you to. Abundance. This is a chance to pay attention to those things and pay attention to your inner child and get into this place of abundance. Abundance is not always material wealth. It's also wealth of love. It's wealth of, of peace. It's wealth of joy, wealth of friends, wealth of health. Like, you know what I mean? It's like, that's what abundance is. It's to feel like you're waking up every day and you feel like life is good. You feel solid, you feel stable, you feel the joy. That's abundance, right? And for some, yeah, it's material, but anyway. 
what have you shelved? What have you shelved? And what's interesting is underneath Desire and Reverse, we get the Three of Air, the Three of Swords. So in this deck, like I said, it actually speaks of learning and education. Have you learned from your mistakes? Have you learned from history? Have you learned, have you learned, have you learned? Do you know better yet? Do you know better yet? Do you know better yet? Are you listening to your inner child yet, Capricorns? Ooh, I got chills. Underneath that, we do have intuition. I, I feel like this is, again, connecting the inner child, like getting connected to the self and really listening to the inner child. You can even say that it is purely intuition. Some of you guys are, are kind of feeling it, as if my intuition's been telling me something, but I've been ignoring it. Are you learning yet? Are you learning yet? Are you learning yet? Do you know better yet? Do you know better yet? Do you know better yet? Some of you, this is also about your own themes of control and maybe abusing your own power in a way to a point where you're running yourself ragged or you're trying to like get to this place of abundance but you really keep running into the devil you know and that is kind of like that is kind of the levels of capricorn like if you were to look at the energy on a spectrum of um like shadowy lower vibe cappy to high higher high to high to higher evolved capricorn there's a reason capricorn is the devil card the way i look at it is capricorn you're saturn you are focused you are disciplined you are you are put your nose to the grindstone and get things done get things done get things done in a shadowy form of that what is that that is that can be obsession that can turn into obsession that can turn into overdoing which is basically the devil but the higher vibe the higher like vibrational expression or manifestation of capricorn energy is being able to have a balance of your power having a balance of your power in order to get things right get things done in a way of balance which is actually also the devil card which people don't always talk about but anyway blah 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 so which is a capricorn have you been striving for abundance and keep running into the devil with wasted energy and wasted time and wasted effort all the while your inner child's like hey there's a different way there's a different way there's a different way stop abusing your own power and energy or stop listening to that narrative or that way of programming that was embedded in you as a child from someone who was abusing their power who told you not to listen to yourself, not to listen to inner child and to shelve your own desires. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Cappies, where are we at? 17 minutes? All right, let's pull some more cards on this and then we're gonna go into a deeper dive in part two, okay? Where are we going with this? All right, we're actually going to go right into tarot. I'm actually going to go with the runic tarot deck. Again, all the decks that I use are linked below. Yeah, that crown energy is sticking out like a sore thumb. For some of you, this crown energy represents a person or archetype of people um, who have abused their power with you throughout your life or as a child. And then now it's like you you still battle that dynamic that programming that you that you were exposed to and adopted from this individual and maybe in some ways you even abuse your own power the way they abused you Ooh. all right moving on it's a oh jesus sorry i keep getting pulled back to this it's a servant energy that's literally how it feels to me it's a serve me serve me serve me serve me this is what was placed upon you as a, as a child for a lot of you who are resonating with this. People or a person, most likely a parent or authority figure of some kind, expected you to serve them in some way, shape, or form. To use your 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 power, your your Capricorn powers of getting shit done and keeping things stable, being that amazing grounding force that Capricorns are, right? And putting it in the wrong direction, putting it towards someone else's selfish needs and wants and desires again causing you to show your own interesting it almost has this feeling too of like never enough like a siphon like a siphon of energy some of you guys could even just be an energy vampire from your past but you, you guys understand the archetype that i'm touching on here any messages or insights for my capricorn pertaining to the spirit. Let's see here. We have Page of Swords. That's not inner child. I don't know what is. Wow. The sun in reverse 
and the six of pentacles in reverse again wasted energies wasted efforts this is also a huge taking energy your inner child wants you to take a step back to see this how have you been allowing this programming or past experiences or people who fit this archetype to run you ragged and misuse your energy for their own benefit. Hmm? And for some of you, it's I hate to say it, but it's just what I'm getting. It's like some of you, you've almost been abusing yourself, like abusing your own energy and running yourself ragged because you learned how to do that. You learned how to do that. You learned how to do that. And you learn to ignore your inner child. You learn to ignore your desires. You learn to ignore play and fun and recovery. Four of Swords, sorry, Four of Swords also represents that. You learn to shelve that for some reason or another, and it's time to, to take that off the shelf and reincorporate it. It's all going to help with a sustainable like balance of work and play and just life in general. It's also going to help you to feel more empowered. Because this kind of energy where it's like, it's never enough, it's never enough, it's never enough. Maybe you were criticized a lot. Maybe someone told you no matter what you do, you're not gonna amount to anything. It, it could have come in so many different ways for you, but it's almost like no matter what you do, it's never enough. Why is it never enough? Why is it never enough? Because someone just always expected the most of you? Does someone or many people expect you to be the best and you just can never live up to it? Does somebody or, or many people have unrealistic expectations of you or did they just want to endlessly take whatever you had so of course it was never going to be enough because how, I, how there no, was nothing for you so of course it was never going to be enough but you see what i'm saying it's like you learned to be in that state of working in that way for some reason or another and i feel like it's relating to your inner child it's abuse of power that's what it comes down to it comes down to this crone oh am i taking these no okay any other messages or insights for my Capricorns pertaining to the spread? Wow. We've got temperance in reverse, imbalance, lack of moderation, lack of peace, seven of wands in reverse, and then the two of swords in reverse. This is a tired ass energy, Cappies. This is tired, tired tired again misuse of energy misuse of power seven of wands in a verse is like i don't have energy to fight for anything i don't have energy to stand up for for what i need to stand up for and then two of swords in a verse there's like indecisions happening here it feels like a foggy brain energy too this this feels like drain to me this completely feels like drain that comes from people abusing their power with you taking more than they should from you and not being allowed to prioritize your own desires here it's almost like you haven't been allowed to have a moment for you. How do I want to say what this is? There's something coming through and I'm trying to figure out how the, way, the best way to phrase it. It's an energy that I'm trying to, that I want to explain. Um, when we have these programs, say it this way. When we have these programs from our, our past that we're functioning from, it's a certain energy. It's a certain vibe, it's a certain frequency that we're functioning from, so we're still putting out, right? And it, whether we are aware of it or not, and if we're putting out this energy, whether it's through our words, just existing in this kind of program, you know, way of working, whatever, people pick up on it, even if they're not aware of it, right? So if you're always putting out this vibe of, I will misuse my power for you, I will, I will serve you. I will make sure you get what you need, right? I will compromise myself and my needs for you. People will take advantage of that, even if they're not aware they're gonna do that. And that's also a way that we get the feedback loop of having that shit happening to us over and over and over and over till we learn the lesson, till we see, till we listen, till we make a shift. There, okay, moving on. <laughs> Any other messages or insights from my Capricorns? Where are we at with time? Okay. Any other messages or insights from my Capricorns? Someone raising Venus and Jupiter. Uh, very similar. This might be a collective vibe too, what's going on. I feel like Full Moon Leo is part of this. Um, because Full Moon Leo, we have a really tight square with Uranus and Taurus. <laughs> yeah, that is very that is very much a standing up for the self. 
sort of a uh, sort of an energy coming in with the full moon Leo, and I feel this here of like learning to say no, learning to not disempower yourself anymore because you're listening to your inner child, which is also what Leo, Cancer, Gemini energy. But we're talking about full moon Leo, right? Pallas Athena is also in Cancer. Well, um, is in Cancer. Mars is also in Gemini. So we'd still have like those very childlike inner child energies kind of going on, but Leo is about the play, which clearly Capricorns is about what you have shelved and suppressed or sacrificed or ignored for the sake of this like distorted work ethic anyway we have seven of cups in reverse oh there it is capricorn oh i'm getting excited for you with the tower and the queen of swords and it landed over here with the six of cups and the seven of swords you're seeing the truth you're seeing it man you're seeing it and you can't you can't turn around you can't you can't flip the, the switch back you can't and nor would you want to nor would you want to like queen of swords like gets a bad rap i think sometimes for being cold and calculated but she's cold and she's calculated right it's like she she does what just needs to be done in the in the name of truth in the name of truth in the name of justice she's libra she's libra energy that seven of cups in reverse with the tower that i feel like is just like a boom <laughs> holy crap i see it <laughs> holy crap i can't unsee it <laughs> sort of a vibe two sevens here by the way we are in a year seven which is very significant. And I think I got five for you earlier, if I'm not mistaken, which is totally the tower to me. Um, yeah, can't unsee it. Cannot unsee it. Oh, I can't wait to get to part two on this. Any other? Mm, beautiful. We just got the star. Any other messages or insights for Capricorn? Some of you are also redefining power or understanding what like redefining your your view of power of what that is and how you utilize it for yourself uh we have the star card coming out here and it actually landed on the crown some of you guys could be healing your relationship with yourself and like your own sense of power how you have misused it abused it or allowed other people to misuse it or abuse it even if this abuse was also just with yourself um some of you if these people are still in your life or what have you. Cause again, we're also talking about inner child. So some of these people might be past already, um, but either way there's forgiveness. There's forgiveness and there's peace being made here with these kind of archetypes or individuals. And then overall we have judgment. Judgment. Judgment to me is just like, it's it should just be the card in my mind that just says spirit. <laughs> spirit approval spirit disapproval that's <laughs> like kind of how i look at the judgment card you can also see a valkyrie in this deck um god i just yeah there, there's a beautiful justice here capricorns and keep in mind when i do a reading well when anyone does readings there are potential of energies right so it's like this is just an opportunity you can flow into this energy let this happen you can fight this process if you want to but this is potentially what you can experience, Capricorns, whoever's resonating with this. But judgment being here, it's like it does, it feels like some sort of completion, some sort of healing, some sort of just divine justice or clarity being served here, where it's like you're, you've been, you're freeing yourself, Capricorn. You're being freed from this. You're being freed from this cycle of misuse of your energy and abuse or misuse of your power or other people doing that to you. You're being free from that. There is a karmic justice here that I really like. Underneath that, we do have, wow, Knight of Swords in reverse with the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Ace of Swords. If anybody has approached you in this energy, the Knight of Swords in reverse is drama, okay? It's drama, it's tactless communication, it's conflict. Ace of Cups in reverse is ego, okay? It's ego, it's emotional detachment, it's lack of compassion, empathy. It's a very, like, non-humane energy. Anybody who's ever been like this with you, or presents this energy to you in the name of your truth, Queen of Swords, you're not having it. You're not having it. And I actually feel like the more interactions you have with people who react to you like this, it almost feels like as you come in with your truth of, I'm not going to allow any dynamics of misuse of my power anymore, sorry, whatever version that comes out in your relationships, if they react like this, that's all the, that's all the truth you need to know right and if people do react like that they're they feel entitled to you in some way shape or form why do they feel so goddamn entitled right good question anyway 
Beautiful reading, Cappies. All right, so let's go ahead and get into part two where I get a little bit deeper into this. Um, if you're leaving us here, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> and I will see you guys later. Don't forget to check out the website, Patreon and Vimeo, and I will see you guys very soon, okay? Take care, Cappies.